the multi-holsters paddle holster made of kydex available in a large number of colors and patterns you see one of these patterns here in front of you it's available as either a straight drop or straight draw as they call it or with the FBI cant which is about a 15 degree forward cant it also has a body side sweat shield that's available at no additional cost this goes between you and the rear of the slide or the top part of the slide I've measured the thickness of this kydex on the holster to be about 80 thousandths and on the paddle to be about 120 thousandths. So I may be a little bit off. Um, obviously there's a lot of curves and bends and it's hard to find a good straight area to do a measurement, but that's my rough measurements, 80 thousandths thick. Good and strong, good and stiff. When I needed a holster for my Smith & Wesson M&P 9 Pro, I knew my first choice was going to be multi-holsters. As long as they had what I needed, I wanted a holster that was not only going to be easy and durable for general range use and practical enough for concealed outside the waistband carry if I wanted, but tough enough and fast enough to use an IDPA. That's a pretty tall order for one single holster, and it limits the number of holster makers you can really shop from. But multi-holsters did have me covered. Actually, they have the gun covered, and in pretty good style, too. I browsed through all the options available for the uh, various colors of Kydex and the different patterns to choose from when I was looking at this paddle holster. My eye was drawn to this pattern, which is called the Cryptek Typhoon pattern. I love the look of the Smith & Wesson M&P, and I wanted to put it in a holster that also has a little bit of personality. And to me, this was it. What do you think? And it figures though, because <laughs> this pattern that I liked so much set me back an extra $20. The base price of this paddle holster is about $65. So the Cryptek Typhoon and the shipping brought me up to just about a full Benjamin for this rig. <laughs> Am I mad? Nope. So I've used this holster now for carry. I've used it for several range sessions and I've used it for two IDPA matches. And here's what I think. The fit to the gun is really perfection. Uh, you know, how many times do you get a just about perfect holster? But this one really is perfect. There's no wiggle in any direction when the gun's holstered. It snaps into place with authority, and yet it's not too tight. Just give this a nice listen. Good positive click. Great retention, yet easy to draw. The fit couldn't be better. One minor complaint that I have, and it is minor, is that the slide stop, which on the M&P is an ambidextrous, the slide stop lever, on the outside portion is a little bit tight, and there's actually some interference when you holster the gun. And I'm just afraid that over time, that might start to wear the finish. But those slide stop levers are an overall part of the retention and the fit, so... I complain lightly, and time will tell. Fast draw. I mean really fast. Faster than I am. <laughs> I ran silicone cloth through the holster a couple times before I first used it, and I try to run silicone through it every once in a while in between. Uh, it's just a good maintenance idea. It's also important, very important, to keep your Kydex holsters clean inside, otherwise you're going to start scratching up the finish of your gun. But with this straight draw, this beautiful fit, this holster is incredibly fast. It's as good as anything I've used, and I highly recommend the straight draw if you want to use it for competition. Quality make and materials. The Kydex is really thick and strong. Like I said, 80 thousandths thick on the holster, 120 on the paddle. The rubber grommets are really tough. They keep it silent. The screws are good quality very durable. They keep everything tight. There is some adjustment ability with these two screws if you needed to tighten or loosen the fit and the retention. One minor drawback of the paddle is that it's screwed on rather than molded over as some are. This is mostly a note for those who would carry the gun as in a possible retention consideration, not just for com competitive use or you know range use. It's not really an issue for me, but it might be for some, so I want to point that out. The paddle is really well designed. I really like the way multi-holsters thought this paddle out and the way they've designed it. 
and built it. It's not as ginormous as some of them are. I mean, some, some paddle holsters, the paddle is huge. <laughs> it has great retention tabs that hold firmly in place no matter how much you yank. Yet, at the same time, it's easy to get it on and off. These hooks do a great job. It's just the right amount. The other thing I like is that the height of the holster is really good. You can see from the paddle design here where that belt, where your belt is going to be. So your belt is going to go here. So that puts the holster just a little less than an inch above your waistband, depending on where your belt rides. One of the other things I like really well about this holster is that the inside of the holster is really well molded. I mean, it fits this gun like a glove or like a holster. <laughs> But there's not a lot of nooks and crannies. There's not a lot of angles and, and you know, over-molded parts. You know, some holsters just seem to have, you look down inside them and there's all these right angles and, and little places for dust and grit to hide. And you wonder, you know, you don't have anything on your gun that looks like that. And you wonder why they make them like that. Well, this one is just molded really well around the gun. And everything, as you can see there, everything is just sort of nice, soft, rounded lines. It's real easy to keep this thing clean. It's easy to run a silicone cloth through it, get full coverage, and there's not a lot of places for dirt to hide, which is nice, which is going to help protect the finish of your pistol. And obviously, talking about things I like, I've got to talk about this finish, right? This cryptic typhoon finish. Was it worth extra $20? Well, I think it was. To me, it was. I don't have any regrets. I think it's a nice look. Uh, I think it looks great with the M&P. I think it does an, a good job complementing the shape and design cues of the pistol. Gives a little bit of visual interest. Yeah, I like it a lot. What do you think? And remember, if you don't like this pattern, they have a lot. I mean, a lot of other patterns. They've got like, you know skulls and all different colors and, and different types of textures and patterns. Uh, you really got to go check out their website. Um, you know, and I think the $20 upcharge for this was the most expensive that I saw. Uh, I think there are other patterns available and certainly colors available for, uh, for less than that. So if you like what you see here, you got to go to Multi Holsters and check out their website. Look at these paddle holsters. Look at all the different colors and textures and prints that are available. But, don't say I didn't warn you, if you find one you really have to have. The bottom line, this is a, an absolutely superb holster for my M&P. And I'm sure it would be for any other pistol I got it for. I'm glad I chose it. I give it a really high recommendation. And... If you want to get it in just plain black, again, it's like 65 bucks.